and I'm about to unlock the full potential of my garden because I don't want poor soil and I don't want nutrient deficiencies and I don't want like lack of luster in my garden. What I'm promoting is healthy, thriving, vibrant oasis through my garden. Highly blessed fullness everyone, it's your girl Nick. And today I'm just going to go around looking at my containers and see if I can give them some topsoil. Like this one, this one's a bit, you know, looking a bit funny. So I'm gonna go around just weeding out certain things and giving them some topsoil. This was some cucumbers I put down here, so but them don't look like them are gonna do good. So if I take these up and plant them somewhere else, it would be better because the leaves are so big for them. It's overshadowing and overpowering them. I'm going to go around examining the soil in the containers and then give them some topsoil, alright? I'm going to give them some compost. So we've got a few containers here that I want to focus on. This is alongside the greenhouse. So they're looking beautiful though, I mean, everything just looking lush. But anyways, I've got my apple mint growing back really nicely so if i can just add little sea slug in there so check him out so if i can add some compost to this it will kind of give them like a new trend and thing you know what i mean and this one as well i think so but anyways over here so is the one i saw and then decided to do this in my current bed it look a bit dry so i'm gonna do this in fast forward motion i'm just going around and cleaning now and then adding it because my house company outside so i can't really talk much all right so you guys remember when i went to the um garden center i got the compost and i need to get some more because it's it's finishing at the moment so i'm just gonna use this compost and you know fill most of the containers with what i've got so I'm just going to add nutrients to the soil. Because you know, after a while, the soil gets depleted. If the, if the product, if the plant's been in the soil for a few years, you're going to have to add, you know, topsoil or compost or whatever you call it to the container plant. Because it's not like it's in the ground where it can get nourishment from, you know, the tree leaves falling, things dying on top of it and all of them. Something that is contained. So you're gonna have to add stuff to contain situations and this is a contained situation so i'm gonna have to add the um, compost to it to give it more nourishment and i'm gonna do that around the whole entire garden because everybody in the container and kind of need a little bit of boost come look on them and them now look so hundred some of them look a bit dry dry the flowers don't look as vibrant as they should so i'm just going around and addressing the situation all right so you guys know how to do this and you know what i'm doing so you just follow me along don't forget to subscribe and you know turn on your notification bell in this video we're going to explore how simple Adding topsoil to your container plants can solve a lot of garden problems. If you want to enrich your soil, you have to add amenities like compost and fertilizer. And this can address, you know, poor soil quality, nutrients deficiency. And even if your plants them now look so good, them just laggish are looking doopy doopy, then it can add luster to your plant growth. So come with me as we go through the garden. I'm going to re revitalize all of my container them by giving them some nice compost. And then they're going to use the fertilizer to help boost them. Yeah, so let's try to dis and discover how these simple steps can transform your garden and unlock a lot of potential you never know. Compost is a valuable soil amenities. You have to have compost in your garden because the compost is going to offer numerous amount of benefits to the garden. Either you're in agriculture or you're in, or you're just thinking about environmental sustainability. This is going to make sure that you enrich the soil by adding compost to improve the structure and fertility of the soil. 
So you're gonna have essential um, nutrients. Some can be nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And if you recycle all of these nutrients back into the soil, it's going to make you less reliant on chemical, you know, fertilizer and promote sustainability in your garden. So you're gonna have nicer garden practices because for one, it's gonna enrich the soil which is going to be beneficial for the microbial activities. It's going to improve moisture retention. That's what we need because we're going to have dry um, summer this year. So we need to prevent, you know, water evaporating. So if we can improve moisture retention and prevent erosion, then we are going win-win. So we need to make sure that we are providing long-term benefits for our, for our soil health. So the structure of the soil can, you know, develop the plant and make them grow healthy while supporting the ecological balance and reducing, you know, the footprints, the carbon footprints we leave behind. our fruit trees now and we're gonna give them some tender loving care so this is our gooseberry you can see it's starting to change colors they're changing colors and start it's gonna start right now so i'll need to give it a little bit of you know nutrients on the soil so i'm just gonna put it on top of the leaves and then that's going to slowly just start, you know, breaking down. Perfect. And then this is our blueberries. Beautiful blueberries. Nice clusters. Look at this bunch. And I had more bunches, but, you know, the animals keep on coming over and breaking off. We had... Holy puzzle stems to so another one down here, so the one break off down here so as well. So we had a lot. So yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this out and just leave the rest of these. That they can't come back, if you know what I mean. That's it. I've left the main root in there so them can't spring back. Alright? I don't know what this is, but gonna take him up. I have to be careful with my finger because I cut my finger the other day. Get this new gadget and I try it out and slice up my finger. But anyways, we add in topsoil because as I said, it adds nutrients to, you know, the ground and then the roots can pick up the microbes in the soil because I'm feeding the soil. Okay. That's what I've done with that one. And then I'm going to do some for my grape. Okay, so I'm going to put you up a little bit. Catch you up there, sir. Just catch him up. <laughs> so this is my grape bucket. And it need watering. It need weeding. It need tender, loving, caring. So, yeah, let me just take these out clean him up a bit and then I can leave these ones to just grow back see never take a lot of time with it and this is part of the you know grip as well we got damage all right so we clean out that now this is the grip vine right here yeah, so. oh gosh Should I run out of compost I will get some more Uh, 
Okay, you can saw this is gonna spring up nicely and look really, really good. Really, really good, you know? Yeah, it's gonna come so nice now. I can pop off that one and that one, see? Looks so good. So, I've just fed the fruit trees around the side. And give this one a little bit more compass, yes sir. That's perfect. Alright, so I just did my container feeding. This is my blueberry, my gooseberries, and my grapevine. The grapes looking lovely this year, I'm not a no lie. I'm really proud of this grape. Grapevine I have around eight years now. Something like that. And this is going to be our third time harvesting or, you know, getting grapes. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm just going to feed them as well. I need to make a little thing. I want it to go up here, so to be honest. So, yeah, but they're looking so nice. Around here, so looking really, really nice. And it's because the gutter is right here, so the water just tends to fall over, so... Off here, so I live in a luxury. You get me, mm. All right? The burdock looking lovely as well. Mm. Look how big my burdock is beautiful. And this is part of my hair care, holistic hair care um, products as well. Yep, yep. All right, so we can just take up these little things when we just weed out. All right around here so now that's one side done I have these in some water i'm gonna plant my majorum out and my mint and my pepper is is springing back so that look good that look good this is my fever few and i just put some compost in as well and now i need to repot it into a bigger one but i'm gonna get some compost tomorrow so yeah compost in it's going to recycle the nutrients back into the soil so therefore you're going to have better soil amenities you're going to have better fertility you're going to have better growth and it's going to make it more sustainable making it better practices for your garden now it's time to fertilize so by adding liquid fertilizer made by cleavers nettle comfrey and a dandelion with other little you know clippings you will provide your plants with essential nutrients i cannot stress this enough this nutrient is going to support the soil health, promote overall plant well-being. Holistically, the plant is going to grow and develop in a healthy way. And over the winter months, when the ground is frozen, I'm telling you, this fertilizer is what you need to make to avoid plants getting damaged during those months. So I'm going to go around fertilizing every container i could find that needs nourishment and vitality added back into the soil because i am going to transform my garden and i'm about to unlock the full potential of my garden because i don't want poor soil and i don't want nutrient deficiencies and i don't want like lack of luster in my garden what i'm promoting is healthy, thriving, vibrant oasis through my garden. All right. So now I'm just fertilizing my blueberry tree. I love blueberries because they're rich in antioxidants, which is amazing for protecting the body from oxidative stress. That's going to reduce the risk of chronic disease. It's also amazing for brain health, heart health, digestive system, skin, and weight management. You need to plant some blueberries or have blueberries in your diet. What about gooseberries? Oh my goodness. Gooseberries is one of them ones is like you love or hate them. And um, they're rich in vitamin C. And they are good for the immune system, skin, and collagen production. Trust me, you want some blueberries. It's packed with antioxidants as well. It's amazing for the digestive system. It helps with anti-inflammatory effects. 
and it helps to regulate the blood sugar in the body. It also is amazing for skin. White grapes. Grapes are so beneficial for the body. It's rich in antioxidant. It helps with the heart health. It also helps with the digestive system. It hydrates the body. It helps with skin health. And it, um, it also helps with weight management. So if you have grapes in your diet, it's going to protect the body from oxidative stress as well and reduce chronic disease as well. So most of these fruit trees that I've got in the garden is doing the same thing. It's helping you to maintain a good, vibrant, healthy body. Having grapes in your diet or any of these fruit trees in your diet is going to make sure it's going to help you reduce inflammation, lower blood pressure, and improve cholesterol level. It's going to even support the bowel movement and healthy gut. It's going to hydrate the whole entire body because it have a high water content and it's going to help the skin from free radicals caused by damaging of the sun, UV rays and all them someday. And it's going to help you promote a healthier glow. Red currants. Red currants are absolutely my favorite. They're rich in vitamin C. Them good for the immune system, good for the skin and them have whole for collagen production in there. Red current high in antioxidants as well, which is going to help the body from more oxidative stress and reduce the risk of chronic disease. Just the same. Most of these fruits are doing the same thing in the garden. What about my strawberries? Strawberries are the same thing. Them rich in a vitamin C. They're full of antioxidants. Them help support the heart digestive system skin and them help to regulate the blood sugar content so all my fruit trees in the garden they are sinking in the same way so when you come on to springtime and then the first like the first you know beginning of summer i eat all of these fruits right down to summer right back until it's winter time because this is how you're going to protect the body from you know um getting ill because the body now is going to have a high content of nutritious valuable minerals and uh, you know vitamins that they, you need to, and to to make sure you don't have illnesses in your body so i would advise you to plant where you love to eat and grow where you love to plant but make sure you plant something that is going to help the body look at my red currants vibrant oh, and so rich well. They are doing so well you can see from the top they're bolting as well they're getting bulged i've been looking at them and they're getting bulged so i just put some compost over here as well just to give them a bit of nutrients added nutrients we're not getting any sun so whatever i can implement in the garden to help boost their growth and development i am going to offer it organically so this is the best fertilizer ever and I've got it here with me. The common strawberry is doing good guys. And this is fertilized by the best fertilizer ever. Now, this is our celery bed. I've never shown you this before. And celery is a flavorsome vegetable that is a crunchy vegetable that's belonging to the APSA family. And everybody know, who don't know, celery have long fibersome stalk. And they have a really distinctive taste. It's either like marmite. It's either you love it or you don't like it. It's mild and slightly bitter. I personally don't like celery like raw on its own like that like a snack or salad i don't like it like that or stews or fries no i don't like it like that i like it in my juice it's fibrosome it aids in digestion and promotes gut health so i like it in my juice because it's it's also low in calories rich in vitamin a k and c and it has minerals such as folate and potassium so it's extremely important in my diet in my juice detox diet so that's why i like celery and this ear over here so is my jamaican red rum beans which my dad gave me so i'm gonna add some fertilizer as well and because they have broad leaves i'm gonna actually 
you know, wet the leaves as well to see if they can absorb the nutrients through the leaves if they're not getting it enough at the base of the root. So this is my little trellis I built. I don't know if I uploaded the video and show you guys, but this is my little peas trellis. And I was thinking before, um, I think I need to thin the peas them out because I'm too clustered together. So I may thin them out just to see how them work, you know? But um, I may leave a row of not thinned out and a row of thin out because I want to see how it works. I've never planted so much together before. And looking at it, I'm thinking them look a bit too clustered. And I don't want, you know, stunt peas or immature dwarf looking, you know, undeveloped peas. I want proper beans. Sorry, I keep on saying peas because I peas me used to beans. Okie dokie. And this is going to be rich in protein and additional vitamins for my body. It's also fibrosome. It have whole heap of fiber in there so it's going to help in digestion and gut health. And it's also going to regulate the sugar. It's good for the heart because it's healthy, reduce oxidative stress. And because it packed with folate and magnesium, it's beneficial to lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. Amazing, isn't it? It's so amazing. And guess what else? It's good for weight loss management. And it's a nutrient-dense food, which is packed with iron, potassium, vitamin, vitamin B, which is overall good for the body. And it's versatile. You can have it in a soup, stews, or salads, or anything you like. So you can get a whole heap of range of health benefits that was going to contribute to a nutritious, you know, eating plan. Okie dokie. So that's it, guys. I wanted to show you how I went around and, you know, give my container plant some compost. Give it a bit of nutrient and fertilize them as well. And yeah, I just wanted to show you how I fertilized my onions. And over there, I also went over there and I planted some basil in that container there. And I plant one next to the tomato right there. I gave these pots compost as well, which is my fruit plant. And I also fertilized them. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Thanks for joining me on a beautiful Sunday, guys. I'll talk to me really soon. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.